This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Van Deese joining us here Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weight. They don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Happy Wednesday. The Jason Walker Show back in the man cave and back with you. Big show coming up today. You can catch us on Twitter at Jay Walker Sports, our email Jason at JasonWalkerShow.com, and I think that's it. Phone number 209 1267 if you want to text or call into the show anytime. Big show coming up today, as I mentioned. We're going to talk to Guy Almquist, Capital Boys coach. A couple of big wins last week, and looking for two more this week. We're also going to check in. With Karen Pearson and Mitch Krause of the Adaptive Performance Center, just opened up in Helena. It helps vets. It helps active duty members of the military, and we will talk to them coming up about getting open in Helena and what they do exactly, and it's an amazing story. Cannot wait to hear from them. Uh, Let's see here. On this day in history coming up, a couple of big things today on this day in history um and a couple involving well we'll just say tom brady has a couple of big announcements on this day two mvps in the super bowl he retired again is it for real this time i hope so never been a brady guy never have been but a year ago on this date he announced his retirement 40 days later he unretired got his butt kicked a lot this year lost a bunch of weight went through a divorce because he was selfish and chose football over his family, and now he's retired after being divorced. So we'll see. I think it's real. I hope anyway. Uh, The opening segment, we like to call it the walk-up, and it is brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes, the premier log home company in the industry. Three distinct divisions so you can create the log home of your dreams and your budget. You've got milled, handcrafted, and timber frame, over 15 different floor plans. You can choose one of those. You can go in with your own. You can work with Montana Custom Log Homes to create the log home of your dreams and your budget. Check them out at yourcustomlog.com to get started today. Uh, Big news, of course, this weekend is girls wrestling divisionals for the very first time. And this is awesome. And in the last couple years with wrestling for girls, it's been everybody goes to state. Well, they're going to change it because numbers have increased so much, which is fantastic. And now you have to qualify. So the first divisionals will happen on Friday. And it's really cool. And it's not going to be double A, A, B, C. There's just not enough yet. But there will be 24, uh, two girls from each weight class, trying to get to state. And I think it's awesome. And it's, it's you know, wrestling, women's wrestling is fantastic. I mean, I see it, it up at Providence, the growth that they've had, the University of Providence, uh, the NAI, uh, NCAA, and Montana High School. It's absolutely awesome. And congratulations to, uh, to all the gals who have made this possible. On this National Girls in Women uh, and Women in Sports Day, by the way. But uh, super, super cool news there. Uh, let's see here. Big basketball last night. You had Big Sky upsetting Helena, the Bengals on the boys' side, 52-46. It's 28-15 at the half. Isaiah Reed had six three-pointers to lead the Eagles. We'll talk about the Eagles coming up because uh, they'll play Capital on Saturday. In Missoula, Uh, Helena High now six and two in the West, eight and three overall. Uh, Bozeman pounded Belgrade. Lewistown 
man, they look good again. Number one ranked in the boys' side. Saw them losing the championship last year. And when Dougie Peoples hit the the three to win it at the buzzer, Butte Central got a big win last night over Butte. And Dougie Peoples had 23, by the way. Uh, Same as Fisher Brown had for Fergus. I think I'll be calling the Class A state championships down in Bozeman for NFHS uh, coming up in March. Been doing the Class A for a couple years, state championships, and it's fun. Good basketball. Uh, Number seven, Huntley got past number five, Lodgegrass, last night on the boys' side, 57-53. Let's see here. Rocky Boy beat Harlem by 30. Top-ranked Loyola, 87-23 winners over Troy. 11 players scored for the Rams. Big Fort got a win, 75-19. Vikings ranked fourth in Class B. Wolf Point rolled over Sydney by 21. Um, Boys action in Class C. Number seven, Roy Winterfred with a win. Fairview ranked eighth, got a win. Second ranked West Yellowstone beat White Sulphur Springs by 31. Class AA girls, Butte hammered Central by 30. And uh, Big Sky knocked off Helena by 8. Let's see here. Class A, Polson beat Whitefish. Class B, Huntley beat Lodgegrass. Um, Loyola beat Troy by 50 on girls' side, 64-14. Uh, Big Fork got a win, 69-8 to eight over Plains on the girl side. Big Fork number one in the uh, Class B. West Yellowstone beat White Sulphur Springs. Roy Winifred rolled over Hobson Moore. Just some big scores last night. Uh, Madison O'Connor led Baker with 31. Teague Stump from Rocky had 31. A Rocky boy. Augustus Peyton Levine had 27. Uh, so there you go. You've got rankings out in high school hoops, and we'll go through those now. As we scroll on down, double A boys, Billings West, nine and one, number one, Hellgate, number two, Capital and Hellgate boys tomorrow at the Bears Den. Bozeman ranked third, Helena High fourth, and Capital fifth. Class A, it's Lewistown, Butte Central, Hamilton, Columbia Falls, and Billings Central. Class B, top five, Loyola, Fairfield, Wolf Point, Big Fork, Lodgegrass. Uh, Class C, Lustra Christian, West Yellowstone, Manhattan Christian, Belt, and Hart Butte. On the girls' side, double A, you have... No. Um, It's West, Gallatin, Capital, Flathead, Hellgate. Class A, Dillon, Browning, Billing Central, Laurel, and Hardin. West the western side of the Class A looks pretty good this year. Will it be a Western team? To be, I mean, the East is going to beat each other up in divisionals, and then get to state. Class B girls: Big Fork, Baker, Malta, Big Timber, Huntley, Jefferson girls ranked ninth. Class C: Seiko, Whitewater, Hinsdale, Roy, Winifred, Plentywood, Chinook, and Twin Bridges. Got wrestling rankings, too. Class AA, Flathead, number one, followed by West, Great Falls, Senior, Belgrade, and Capital. Uh, Your top-ranked AA wrestlers at 103, Mikhail Aguayu of West, Zach Morse of West at 113, Keon Hernandez of West at 120, 126, Bozeman's Elijah Carroll, Glacier's Tegan Vasquez at 132, Belgrade's Carter Schmidt at 138, Avery Allen of Bozeman at 145. Irish Firthmeyer of Great Falls at 152. Izzy Moreno, who we've had on the show from Big Sky, ranked number one in the state at 160. Paolo Salmonen of Skyview at 170. Noah Poe Hatton of Flathead, 182. Brendan Lockhart, Great Falls, 205. And Talon Marsh of Capital, who went undefeated in his crosstown career, by the way. Uh, Number one at 285. Uh, Let's see. There were A or a B and C rankings as well. Huntley Boys, number one in Class B, followed by Three Forks, Jefferson, Cutbank, and Glasgow. 
Class C at Superior, Fort Bend, Chinook, Circle, Cascade. So there you go. Uh, locally, uh, nobody ranked number one, I don't believe. Oh, John Armstrong and Jefferson, number one at 152. So there you go. We're uh, nearing the end. This month, a couple of weeks from now, state wrestling tournament down in Billings. Never been there. I need to get down there. What a great event I've always heard about. But I've never been able to go because I was usually calling basketball or something. So I was never able to get to the double A or the uh, all class state A or wow, three, two, one. All class wrestling state championships. Ooh, maybe we need a break. We'll take one. When we do the Adaptive Performance Center, we'll talk to that. Oh, by the way. Uh, your auto contest performance of the week is Talon Marsh for his big uh, win last week in Crosstown, undefeated at uh, Crosstown for in, in his Crosstown history against Helena High. So he is our auto contest performance of the week. And if you need anything done to your auto enhancement, they are the auto enhancement professionals. Get into auto concepts in Helena today. Uh, Adaptive Performance Center opened this week in Helena yesterday. No, Monday. What is today? I don't even know what day of the week today is. I think it's Wednesday. Anyway, they opened up a couple days ago in Helena and by all accounts, raging success. We'll talk to Karen Pearson and Mitch Krause, the founders of the Adaptive Performance Center, and find out what it's all about when we come back. The opening segment called The Walk Up, brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes, veteran-owned, family-owned, woman-owned, owned and operated. Check them out, yourcustomlog.com to get started today. Coming right back here on a Wednesday on the Jason Walker Show. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality. Because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Spring is fast approaching and summer is just around the corner. So now is the time to get those windows tinted at Auto Concepts as the sun starts to heat up. Tinting is the best way to keep the sun out of your little one's eyes driving down the road. Plus, it just looks cool. Auto Concepts is your exclusive 3M dealer for tinting as well as the best clear bras in town. Auto Concepts clear bras will not fade or yellow over time. And don't forget about suspension lifts and power steps for your rig too. Visit AutoConceptsHelena.com or check them out on Facebook. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the pitcher kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want to support local business. Visit lnpgrocery.com and at 215 North Main Street. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Lundy Center, the Copper Club Casino. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. 
Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Storewide savings is what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rockers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rockers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rockers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. This segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. So my wife and little one went down to uh, Texas over the weekend to visit um, my sister-in-law and her kids. And they went to the zoo and saw the tamarind monkeys and then yesterday i saw a story that two of the tamarind monkeys were gone from the dallas zoo as i made sure that the wife didn't have them and she didn't and then they get snow down in texas my buddy sent a picture of uh houston where he lives and it was just a photo of you know snow he goes this is what it's like thanks for the montana weather and my other buddy responded Looks like it's uh, golf weather in Montana. Roads are getting better. I don't know if it's still closed. Uh, I-90 between uh, Livingston and Big Timber has been closed since last night. Not sure if it's gotten reopened yet. But uh, it is. It is open now. Okay. Crazy. That's not bad. I like that one. We'll have to remember that one. Uh, let's see, musically. So the Adaptive Performance Center opened up uh, this week in Helena, and it, it, it's meant to help vets. It's meant to help active duty, and it is a gym. And joining us now to talk about that are the co-founders, the owners, Karen Pearson, Mitch Kraus, and they join us. Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline, talking APC on the Jason Walker Show. Well, I have known these folks for a couple of years, and I met them at the DAV tournament two Julys ago and uh, found, ran into them again last year at the DAV, Bill Roberts, Karen and Mitch. How are you guys doing? And let's let's get that out of the way first. Good, good afternoon, Jason. Uh, yeah, we're doing fantastic. Let's put it that way. That is and great you know news. What? It's a downright heat wave today, so I'm not going to complain. I was complaining a couple days ago, but it's nice today. I'm glad you guys got up here be from Billings before they closed oh, the interstate. That was a tricky one. <laughs> that Sunday was not good. It's one of the it's oh. one of the times it's taken us longest to get to Helena ever. Oh, I believe it, and I think the interstate's still closed between Livingston and Timber. It is. Our yeah. our manager and one of our liaisons came up last night. Took them five and a half hours to get here from Billings, mm. and they're trying to go back today and there's closures everywhere it's absolutely crazy um but i'm glad you guys are here it's something new in helena you and i have talked about it for a couple of years Uh, you run the adaptive performance center down in billings it's now open in helena Um, how excited are you guys it's crazy it's awesome (laughs) (laughs) it just it's finally here (laughs) it's so it's so exciting because now we have We have the comparison of Billings to Helena now and the experiences we've had in both. So we opened in Billings in March of 2020, two weeks before COVID hit. Mm -hmm. 
And so we, we had done a lot of groundwork prior to APC opening, but nobody really knew who we were. And it was exciting because in Billings, we got 46 members in 11 days. We were super excited about that. We're like, wow, that is a rock and start. Everything's great. Pandemic hits. We had to kind of rock and roll with that for a little bit. But coming into Helena with three years of momentum that we had in Billings, we have about 630 members in Billings now. And so being able to be rolling off of that kind of momentum and the kind of pre-build that we've been able to do for the last year and a half, two years here in Helena, we have 46 members right now in in Helena. Two and a half days, I guess, right? Exactly. Right. <laughs> Let's explain what APC is for those that don't know. Um, whoever wants to take this one, he always points at me. <laughs> well, she he's, talks the he's, most. Well, I'm the mouth. She, she, that is true, but you're also <laughs> smarter than both of us. So, <laughs> Jason. So, the Adaptive Performance Center is a nonprofit fitness center. Our mission is to eliminate the veteran suicide rate through the use of physical fitness and recreating community Mm. amongst veterans and active military personnel. And Mitch kind of has his motto of what APC is. And my motto for APC is come in here, work your body, work your mind. Yep. And let's get things going. And this is so amazing. And like I said, we met, Two years ago, I guess, mm-hmm. 2021 at the uh, the Disabled American Vets Golf Tournament, the DAV, what they've done alone, uh, you oh. know, millions of miles and, and the money that's raised just at that golf tournament, I think last year was almost one hundred and twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Yeah. That all goes to the DAV. Um, but you guys are big supporters of the DAV. You're big supporters of veterans. And, and, and this being a veteran community with Fort Harrison right here. Um, wise decision to open up, but uh, so proud of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so what can people expect when they go in? Mitch, uh, I'm going to throw this one on you. Look at each other. <laughs> um, you walk in, you sign up. Then you come into the lounge, have a cookie and a coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what you um, do. <laughs> and then you come into the gym and work out. That's... That's and, what we do. And this is for veterans, right? Veterans only? Veterans and active military. And act, okay. Yes. Um, it's just a great thing. Is there a charge? Is there a fee? Is there, I mean, how do we run this? So we have a membership fee of $19.95 a month, but nobody is turned away. And the only reason we have the nineteen ninety five <laughs> is early on we had some people say, "Well, if I don't pay something, I don't feel comfortable mm. coming." So we literally <laughs> pulled nineteen ninety five out of the air. <laughs> and again, nobody is turned away. If that's not something that's within their budget, we will fundraise. We will find things. They don't have to go fundraise. They don't have to go find it on their own. We will take care of it. We have people in both communities that have walked in and said, run my card for $19.95 a month for somebody who can't afford it. Oh, wow. That fee is all they will ever have to pay. Yep. Personal training doesn't cost extra. Classes don't no, cost classes, extra. Yeah. Nothing costs extra. It's $19.95. We're talking uh, with Karen and Mitch from the Adaptive Performance Center. Mitch, where did this idea come from? Let's start there. Oh, boy. A brainchild. <laughs> um Karen and I were both uh, personal trainers and we were sitting around one day and we had worked with some vets and, you know, a couple of vets were like, oh, I don't like the gym. It's too crowded. It's noisy. I don't like that. And we just got to thinking there's got to be a better way. And so all of a sudden we just started talking and we came up with APC. Karen, and what was our your- gym oh, is. Uh, all rubber weights, so it's pretty quiet, um, unless there's a bunch of vets in there, and you know vets, that, <laughs> there's nothing kind of quiet about them. <laughs> right. <laughs> but in a good so, way. In a good way. Yeah. In a good way. And, uh, you know, it just, that's kind of how it came about, and here we are. Now, Karen, were either one of you vets as well, or? or... I was a military wife for 22 years. Okay. Uh, Mitch's dad served during the Vietnam era. Uh, so no, neither one of us, neither one of us are veterans. 
but I am a licensed mental health provider, and so I have worked with a lot of veterans over time. I used to do, uh, when, when I was married at the time, I used to do suicide prevention lectures for the unit my husband belonged to, and I used to do anger management training with them. I did a variety of things with veterans. And then Mitch and I had an incredible opportunity years ago where we started working with a National Guard unit here in Montana, and we were working with their PT failures at first, and then we started working with the whole unit. And that one very small National Guard unit in four years had six suicides. And the last suicide in that unit was the captain in charge of the suicide prevention program. And that it, it has to stop. There, there has to be something that impacts that suicide rate. And when you give back people their opportunity to move their body and to be reconnected with their brothers and sisters, they have a reason to live again. Yep. That is, uh, imp- and we know the number 22 is the number that always stands out with, with veteran right. suicides, you know, and we've seen the 22 push up mm-hmm. challenge and all of that, but Karen, how much worse has it gotten since COVID? Oh. So if you put COVID post COVID very quickly went up to about 27.5 a day right now, those statistics, if you put together active and veteran, you are looking at approximately 44 to 45 a day right now. Wow. It, 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 it's astronomical. Nah, yeah, and it's crazy stupid. It just is not, it's not right. No, I, I mean, know no. that in Ohio, we, we know somebody who his, his hometown, in a three-week span of time, they had four. Wow. take their life. I know when my son was home from on leave from Kansas before he went to Hawaii in November, he had a couple of buddies from his days in Kansas commit suicide while he was up here for 44 days. And yep. it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. And I, I, I know that guys like, you know, veterans affair division and, and DAV and others and, and adaptive performance center trying to help that. Mitch, when somebody comes in looking not just to work out, but looking for help, what do you tell them? Help is on. Help is right here. Um, we we work with them, and we try to get it out of them. What's bothering you? What what's what's your hard thing today? And you know, a lot of times, if they're working with me as a personal trainer and things like that these vets will start talking out in the gym more than they would sitting on a couch yeah. and talking to people. So they will tell me more than they would their set their therapist. And I get that. And then I can find help or we can sit down and talk about it ourselves. And, you know, I just, it just kills me when that kind of stuff happens because it does happen. Um, we've been around it already. Yeah. So, Jason, APC back in October had a game changer. We uh, we were very blessed with a very large grant that we had applied for. That grant went solely for salaries that hired five personal trainers in each location. We have two veteran liaisons. Those veteran liaisons, uh, two in Billings, two in Helena, those are literal game changers. Because in the last two years, we have seen where there's holes in services to veterans. Those liaisons now, they can go in and help. Let's say we have a vet who can't even find his DD-214. They can help him with that. They can help him apply for disability benefits. They can help when they're having trouble accessing their medical care. They can help with housing. They can help with jobs, with food, with all of the paperwork and the bureaucracy involved in that. Our liaisons are the buffer for our members to be able to get the services they need and deserve. 
We have peer mentors that help bring the community together and challenge them to come to the gym three times a week or, hey, let's go axe throwing. Let's go do something together. Uh, We have an on-staff occupational therapist that can go into a veteran's home and help decide what they need to be able to improve independent living within their home. Small things, whether it's grab bars in the bathroom or specialty lifts, but things that will help them stay in their homes longer, they can do evaluations. So this has really been a game changer in what APC can do in a full circle for a veteran, not just helping improve their their physical health, but their mental health, their home health, their family health, community health. Yep, yep. I want to read a quote that was in your press release. Uh, John Corey, uh, he's a member, said, quote, without something and someone to look forward to each day, I would have had no purpose to continue on. APC has covered every need for this broken stranger seeking belonging and camaraderie in a completely new city and state. Please know you've made all the difference in my life. My gratitude cannot be overstated. When you, I, I know you wrote it in the press release, Karen, but when you hear that, what's your thoughts? Okay, John wrote that letter, and we mm-hmm. we got that letter about a week before Christmas, mm-hmm. and we were leaving to come up here to get one of our pieces of equipment. We kind of all sat in the driveway and cried. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's all we ever wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So all we ever wanted to do was help veterans know that what they mean <laughs> to our nation and that their life has value and they have value and they're important. And we love them so much and have so much gratitude to them. And John is such an amazing example of what is the magic of APC. He would come in. (laughs) We didn't know him very well. He'd moved from, from Colorado, didn't know him that well, pretty quiet when he came in didn't interact a lot he would work out and then he'd sit on the couch and have a cup of coffee and read for a couple of hours or work on his computer and over the days and weeks we would kind of get to have a little more conversation with him and there was one day he went to make a cup of coffee and we were out of cups and I am telling you I was looking high and low you can't when they have to have their cup of coffee they have to have their cup of coffee (laughs) and so I'm looking for a cup of coffee, and all I could find was the one that we had the little hot sleeves in. And I said, will this do? He's like, yeah. And I said, okay, you will have coffee cups Monday morning. So it was on a Saturday, and we're closed on Sundays. And when he left, I said, see you Monday, John. And his comment was, I hope so. And I can tell you, I went out and bought coffee cups the minute I left APC that day. So Monday morning, he comes in. And I, there was a big stack of coffee cups by the coffee pot. I said, see, I told you we'd have coffee cups. That small interaction, that, that very small thing, started conversation. We always greeted him and we always said goodbye. All the staff always greeted him, said hello, said goodbye. But that, that was the opening that let us start having conversation with him. And he started talking a little bit more. And then he started standing at the counter and talking longer. Well, then he started joking around and started laughing. John now is our peer mentor in Billings. Wow. What a great story. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a beautiful human. He's man. great. Well, you guys are beautiful humans too. And, and like I said, I've known you for a couple of years. But Mitch, you know, Karen talks about veterans needing and even active duty, but more so the veterans that need to feel welcome again. And, and with yeah. your dad in the Vietnam era, and that's when it, that's what we hear about the most is when the, the guys from Vietnam came back, they didn't feel that love. And we see, <laughs> we've seen it now for the last 45 years, really of, yeah. of that. Are you seeing a change? And I know there's so much work to do. We're not even at the, we haven't scratched anything. We yet. have No, not at all. But is there a change because of APC and Billings and hopefully here in Helena? Um, as a matter of fact, yes. Uh, and a, a while, just a while back, I, I walked out of the gym and there in the lounge sat a Vietnam vet, a desert storm vet, and a present day MP. 
and they sat there for an hour bullshitting and laughing and carrying on. And, and right then I knew this is where APC is at. This is, this is the people we need in here. And these are the groups that need to be together and they can talk and they can express themselves the way they want to express themselves and not be afraid or not sit at home and just mope in their house. And this is where APC is, and this is what we're about. And I, I, those guys, I, I love them. My heart is full of them. And it's, you know, I mean, I've said this a lot in the last month, probably. Um, these are these are the guys, the, the ladies, the men. Um, they're the ones giving us our freedoms. And damn, we need to give it back. Yep. And we need to give them their lives back. And you guys and, do such an amazing job at it. Well. It's pretty cool to see, like, like the Vietnam veterans, it is so fun to watch them come in and wear their hats. They so proudly wear their hats. And we work with, uh, we've got Marine Pulleys, we've got Air Force Delayed Entry, and the Army Future Soldiers. And they... They're the young men and women who have signed but haven't gone off to boot camp yet. Yep, yep. And that's kind of what brought our mission statement full circle because when these young men and women go off, whether they do two years, four years, or a career, when they come back, they immediately have a place to return to. They're not going to spend 5, 10, 15, 20, 40 years isolated from society. They immediately will return and and. A, that's how you stop veteran suicide. Mm-hmm. But B, to see these young kids go up to these Vietnam veterans, they are just in awe of them. And they want to talk to them. And the vets are just like, this is so, they are so proud to talk to these young kids. They're proud of them. They're in awe of them. And this mutual respect mutual respect that goes back and forth they're so proud of these kids for joining and these kids are so honored that they soon get to be part of this elite group watching that dynamic is phenomenal i i i would love to come down and do a show down there if yes if people More than feel, welcome if people feel comfortable with me setting up and talking oh, while totally. they're totally. working out we but do that stuff yeah we'll we'll that get that planned for sure but i am okay. behind you guys 100 percent. however i can help i i do have to ask do you have the plinko board set up so <laughs> that the veterans can can at least do something else too okay the with, plinko with, board is not ours the oh. Plinko board belongs to the DAV. Okay. So I haven't had a chance to see if they'd let it come and hang out here for a while. Hey, <laughs> maybe we, maybe it could be a teaser the week I, or two before the golf tournament. Like we it. could bring it out. I've got Jason Walker show shirts we could give away. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think that's a we're on to something here. We, we are. Got it. It. All right. Where have. can people find you guys, both in Helena and in Billings? In Helena, we are at 2475 North Cook. We're just a block off of Montana, kind of a block over from Highway 55, burger shakes okay. and fries. So <laughs> work out and go eat. Much, but, you know. <laughs> we don't have a sign up yet, okay. so we've got balloons out front, but pretty soon the weather's going to take care of those. Yeah. Our sign will be up soon. Okay. In Billings, we are at 1420 Broadwater. Okay. So that's where we're at at both yeah. locations. Come and take a tour. Take a tour. If you know a vet, spread the word. Spread the word. This is for yeah. them. We yeah. want to see them. This is their gym. It's all for them. That is just awesome. And I can't wait to come down and take a tour. Um, yes. Maybe Friday I'll stop in. So Excellent. Because awesome. I'll be in town. I, you know, between Gray Falls and here now, it's, it's, you, it's driving oh. back and forth. So um, <laughs> Super. Yeah. So which one of you is moving to Helena? Neither one of us. <laughs> we'll we've, stay we've hired a great crew here. Yes. But we will be here quite a bit. I, we'll be spending a lot of time in Helena, but we have a phenomenal crew here. I am so excited for you guys and more importantly for the veterans and the active duty that maybe don't feel that love that now they can. And yep. right. you know, if you see a veteran on the street, just say hi. You don't even say have to hi. say thank yes. you. Just say hi. 
Yeah. Um, Literally. Yes. Talk to them. They, huh? the stories. They're humans. You yes. Know. Yes. Oh, and they have the best stories. And they got stories. great yes. stories. Uh, they got big hearts. Yes. Yep. Yes. And I am just ecstatic and I appreciate you guys working with my schedule a little bit here and, and I know you got to run, but uh, congratulations on opening in Helena. Congrats on the success in Billings. And I can't wait to see you guys uh, hopefully Friday, but definitely in July for the DAV. That awesome. sounds great. Thanks, Thanks Jason. Jason. Have a great day. Have a good one. Those Bye. are two fantastic people right there and doing a lot for not only uh, the Billings community, but now in Helena with the Adaptive Performance Center and uh, look forward to uh, working with them uh, in the future. Fantastic, fantastic people. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk some hoops. Guy Almquist next. Hang on. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm Agent Mike Miller in Helena today. L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the pitcher kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want Want to support local business? Visit lnpgrocery.com and at 215 North Main Street. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years' experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Mobile Center, the Copper Club Casino. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. Final segment on a Wednesday. It's brought to you by the Copper Club Casino. Right next to Cafe Zydeco. Stop in. Hot games, warm staff, and cold beer. Drink 
and gamble responsibly. Well, it was a tough crosstown loss uh, almost two weeks ago. Last week, two bounce back wins. And joining us now on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline to talk about those and more is the head coach of the Capital Boys, Guy Omquist. One. All right, Coach. Been a couple weeks since we chatted. How are you? You're coming off the tough loss in Crosstown, but uh, picking up a big win last week over Butte. Yeah, doing well, Jason. Uh, good to be here. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a great game uh, in Crosstown, and uh, we were able to get back on the saddle and, and uh, beat Sentinel and Butte last week and, and uh, get us back rolling again, hopefully, and to have a, we're uh, hoping we have a great week uh, this week. When you look back to, uh, to, to last week's games, um, especially that one against Butte, you know, you're, you're coming from behind in a lot of these games. Would, would one say the Bruins are the, the comeback kids right now? Well, I'd say we definitely have some resiliency. Um, you're going to have to put a fork in us, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> these kids don't have any quit in them. There's no doubt about that. And, and uh, certainly some of these scenarios, we'd like to not get in that situation, so we'll continue to work on that. But but uh, we certainly have some guts and some character, and, and we continue to do some of the little things uh, very well to give us the chance to come back in those games. And then uh, the view game in particular, we were able to make some nice plays at the end to, to salt it away. We've talked about the Michelottis. We've talked about Hayden Opitz. Um, give me a couple names that might be flying under the radar stats wise, or, you know, things like that, that, but, but they don't show up in the, in the, in the stats so much as helping you guys win. Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd say Tyler Kovic. He's certainly one mm-hmm. of those guys. Um, he, he's really the engine uh, to what we're doing out there um, from a leadership perspective, from a competition perspective, just uh a great competitor, uh, kind of uh, leads our defense and uh, is our leader on the court most of the time. I think he's done a great job for us. Joey Michelotti's really played well uh, off the bench. He's given that second team some uh, some lift and then has, has been uh, really finishing the games for us uh, at the guard position. And then uh, somebody that uh, others maybe not know, Henry Gross. Uh, Henry's done a great job rebounding the ball, does give us a little bit of a scoring lift at times and so um all those guys are, are giving us uh giving us a lot and uh we're happy they're on our side is this i mean we, you've won two state championships in the last decade but is this more of a team because you don't have that standout like a Braden cook yeah there's no question we need to do it by committee um we we like very very likely won't have anyone ever score 20 points all year in any game uh we're gonna have to do it by committee and uh you know, we, we'd like to be a little more efficient on offense. I think we're getting the ball to good spots. Um, we're, we're shooting good shots. Shot selection is not an issue. They really like to share the ball with each other. We've got to learn to finish around the basket a little bit more. We've got to knock down a few more free throws. And, and then you go from scoring, you know, 44, 45 points to low 50s. And uh, if we can consistently get in the low 50s, we'll be tough to beat because we're not going to give up that many most of the time. So, um very unselfish group of guys. Um, we're all trying to do just a tad bit more. We're not far away, and we continue to kind of work to get there. Talking with Guy Omquist on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. Two wins last week. You uh, go back um, on the road. Well, first you're home, and then you're on the road, right, this week? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, Hellgate at home tomorrow night, Groundhog's Day. Um, take me through Hellgate this year because we know how good they've been over the years, and, and a Jeff Hayes coach team is – is going to be pretty pretty well coached and, and ready to go. No question. They're going to be well prepared. Hellgate is uh, just a great program. They've got a great coach, and the kids just uh, fall in line and, and, and do what they do well. And, and uh, they play team basketball. Uh, what I respect about them is they play both both ends. They're a very uh, good offensive team, and they really put a lot of effort into their defensive team. So it's going to be an incredibly tough contest. They uh, – for lack of a better term, boat race us the last time we played. And we, we weren't very competitive in that game. Uh, I thought they played very, very well. And we just weren't able to respond. So we're, we're thankful we get another opportunity. We'll see how far we've come in the last three, four weeks. And, and uh, it should be an exciting game to watch. So what you're saying is you don't want a Groundhog's Day tomorrow. No, we're hoping it's a little <laughs> different than the last one. That, that was a little tough to uh to, to swallow for sure. So we're, we're again, we've been we've been working. These kids have been working very hard, and 
I think tomorrow night, again, we have an opportunity to show that we've improved and, and that uh, there's not as big a divide between the two teams as there was the first time. Setting it four and three in conference, obviously you, you'd like to be a little bit you know, better record-wise, but about where you thought you'd be as you enter the halfway point? You know, I was never quite sure. You, you know, seven and three, it, it, uh, that's, that's a good record. A lot of people would trade spots with us. Um, this group of kids isn't used to losing much, um, and, but we didn't really know how, how we'd be. You know, how would teams play us and how would uh, our strengths and weaknesses fare against the rest of the league? And I think it's, it's getting a little bit more obvious kind of where we're at, what our, where, where we struggle with, where we've got to get better. Um, you know, we're right there. We're right there. We're just trying to position ourselves for a good seed at a divisional tournament because ultimately, you know, the, the, the major goal is to get to a state tournament and see what happens. But we've got to get ourselves a good seed in a divisional tournament so we can make a good run there. Then you got head to Big Sky on Saturday. Uh, roads should be much better than they have been the last few days. But what do you expect out of the Eagles? Well, Big Sky, they're, they're rolling. I, mean, I think they won four in a row. They just came to uh, Helena last night and beat Helena High. They mm-hmm. beat uh, Glacier last week. Uh, they beat Duke. They, they're they're playing very well. Um, Josiah uh, Charisma is a fantastic player for them. They've got a, a sophomore point guard who's really causing some problems, and and they play very very hard. I think that's probably the biggest thing. They've got a new coach who's really got them playing hard. And and uh, anytime we go to Big Sky, I mean, if you looked up over the last decade, those games are uh, you might as well put two minutes on the clock with a tie game. Let's just start from there. We're wasting time with the first thirty. <laughs> So we know it's going to be a tough, tough game. Our league is very even yeah. this year, just as the state is. There's really I, – I know Billings West, they've had a pretty good run here, but I, I think it's pretty even, and and uh, you you better bring it each and every night. Capital Boys coach Guy Almquist, our guest here, Jason Walker Show. It is uh, um, National Girls and Women in Sports Day and month and mm-hmm. week. Um. I know you support it having daughters, but how big of how big is this that we should be celebrating even more than we already do? Yeah, I mean, first, obviously, it's um, we want everyone to have that opportunity, and, and thank God, somebody or as a country, we came to our senses at, at some point. It's it's really as you sit here in 2023, hard to imagine that our mothers were not given opportunity to participate in sports. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of crazy. So, you know, we are making progress there, thank goodness. And, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't imagine not having, uh, my daughter be able to, or anyone else's daughter being able to have those opportunities because of all the things that, that sports and competition are able to teach you as a human being. And so we should uh, always push for all of our young kids and, and, uh, men or women to be able to be involved in anything they want to be involved in. So, as adults, we, we certainly need to take that seriously. And that's, uh, that's, uh, part of our civic duty. I would think to make sure the opportunities are for everyone. So, um, great to recognize it. Great to recognize that it hasn't always been there and, and to appreciate it. And, and, uh, we should all be thankful for some of the foresight of, of those that, that got us to where we're at today. I know you're a Grizz fan, but how cool will it be in a week and a half in 10 days when it's finally, Selvig Court at Dahlberg Arena. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Staying kidding. with that theme, <laughs> I was going to say with that theme, there's probably no one in the state of Montana who's meant more to that um, than than Robin Selvig and what he's done for women's athletics in this state, and really, the, I would say that very well recognized in the Northwest, if not even the country, yep. for women's basketball um, has been incredible. Um, he, he just. Uh, He's done so much for so many, and then uh, I know that he was recognized at the game last week, and, uh, and he just, uh, what an amazing coach. I was, I was actually lucky enough to get to know him as an individual in my time in Missoula. My dad and him were friends, and, and uh, just a first-class individual, and, and there couldn't be a better uh, person to name record after. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the whole, the whole place could be called Selvig auditorium but <laughs> we'll have to do a Selvig uh, court and go from there you know it's crazy when you think about it when they made the announcement finally and this has been I mean people have been working on this for a long long time I thought it should have happened the season after he retired but um, and I'm a bobcat but I loved what Robin Selvig did because he's classy he's just a great great human being um, 
But man, I'm so excited. And it's just one of a handful. I think a dozen courts are named after women's basketball coaches. Yeah, yeah, I know that's that's pretty special in Missoula. Of course, uh, the history of Lady Grizz basketball speaks for itself, but it's mm-hmm. really because of Robin Selvig. And, and of course, someone at the University of Montana made a you know good, wise decision to hire him at a very young age, right? Right. Um, they were probably going out on the limb hiring him, so he has to get credit where credit's due. I'm sure as they, I'm sure after he retired, they knew that something like this would happen, and we're trying to do it in the right way, the most respectful way. Um, but it's certainly exciting for everyone in Montana, I would think. All right, before I let you go, it is National Serpent Day. Are you a fan of snakes? Oh, my gosh, no. No, we can skip that day. <laughs> snake night, we don't miss. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like that most. No, I don't want any part of the snake. I'm heading the opposite direction. I see any type of snake. I'm, I'm with no. you. I'm with you. I don't care if it's a water snake, a garter snake. A snake's yeah. a snake, man. I feel like snakes have been on this earth for a long, long time, and I, I just don't want any part of that. So. Nope, nope. Uh, do you remember where you were 18 or 19 years ago tonight? 19 years ago tonight. Yep, it would have been Super Bowl th- uh, 38. Gosh, I, I don't. What? What's, who was playing in that Super Bowl? I don't even remember, but it was 2004, and it was Janet Jackson incident. Oh. <laughs> the uh, yes. wardrobe malfunction you're talking about. Yes, yes. I don't remember where I was at, but I, but I do remember that scenario. <laughs> yeah. Hard, hard to forget. Um, yes, yes. Um, are you a Janet Jackson fan? Were you before and were you after? <laughs> uh, are we are we talking music, music? musically we, coach oh, yeah. i don't know where your oh. head's going <laughs> okay yeah yeah no uh, i can't say i was a huge janet jackson fan wasn't uh justin timberlake on that one as well he was yes yes i would say i would say i was much more of a justin timberlake fan wow. I, mean, I don't want to say that out too loud but over janet jackson so um <laughs> Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't admit that on radio, but I just did. So I can't get, I can't put that genie back in a bottle. No, 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 that was Christina Aguilera, by the <laughs> way. Uh, genie in a bottle. Um, yes, yes. So there was no Janet in the the in the Carroll locker room while you guys were getting ready to play uh, Northern or Tech. Gosh, I, I don't remember that. No, I, I don't remember uh, Janet being the. Being the music that would uh, get us fired up to go win a Frontier Conference game. No, I can see Turcotte listening to it. No, he was. Yeah, he's I, a Springsteen guy. That's right. I'm not sure back in his, in Turcotte's early days, he would even allow us to have music, let alone what type of music. So, <laughs> uh, hey, Coach, good luck this week. Thanks as always for joining us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. You bet, Jason. Always fun. Thanks. That is Guy Onquist joining us here. Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. It's not just a bundle. It's your home. It's your auto. It's your life. Mike understands that. Get a hold of Mike Miller, State Farm, in Helena today. Uh, some breaking news. Breaking news right now. Uh, this coming from Sean Gleason about 45 minutes ago, the CEO of the PBR. Flint Rasmussen will be... Um, making his final Unleash the Beast performances at this year's World Finals in Fort Worth coming up. I guess that's in May, right? Wow. We'll get Flint on. He is um, the best of the best. It's crazy. I know he's got, you know, he's got the little ones, but, well, not little. (laughs) One's graduated and one's a senior, but... Man, Flint uh, won't be retiring from the PBR, but he is going to, I guess, ride off into the sunset or maybe dance. What an amazing entertainer. And we'll talk to, we'll get Flint on to talk about this, but man, Flint Rasmussen unleashed the beast final performances at this year's world finals in Fort Worth. The breaking news coming out today. Oh, bummer. Uh, let's do On This Day in History. It is Wednesday, February. So did he announce his retirement, Flint, on the same day Tom Brady did? I think Flint's retirement is more important than Tom Brady's. You can weigh in at Jay Walker Sports. Today is Wednesday, February the 1st, 2023. It is National Freedom Day. On this day in 1865, President Lincoln signs the 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution abolishing slavery in the United States. 
Serpent Day, we talked about that. Girls and Women in Sports Day, fantastic day. Uh, National uh, Dark Chocolate Day and Baked Alaska Day. 1950. It's a bad day for Green Bay Packers. 1950 on this date, founder, player, and coach Curly Lambeau resigned after 31 seasons and six NFL championships. 1967, the 10-team American Basketball Association with George Mikan as the commissioner was formed, lasted nine years. The three-point shot, still a feature. 1968, back to the Packers, Vince Lombardi steps down as the head coach in favor of longtime assistant, uh, would stay on as GM for the next season. We talked about the wardrobe malfunction. Now, on this date in 2006, high school senior Epiphany Prince scored a U.S. Girls National Prep Basketball record of 113 points. Hang on, goofball. Come here. The little one just got home from school. Uh, that surpassed Cheryl Miller's 105. Uh, Lisa Marie would have been 55 today. Lisa Marie Presley passed on a couple of weeks ago. Let's do this. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. Walk-off presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky. Stop in for the best cage in this side of New Orleans. Uh, we just learned Flint Rasmussen is going to be making his final performances at uh, Unleash the Beast World Tour coming up this uh, May in Fort Worth, Texas. We'll get Flint on next week, hopefully. Uh, we also learned about the Adaptive Performance Center. Karen and Mitch do, uh, doing such a great job and getting it open. It's been open in Billings for a few years, now open in Helena for three days. And if you are a veteran, if you are active duty, check them out. They're on North Cook Street. And, uh, man, uh, we're behind them 100%, and you should be as well. So uh, helping our vets, helping our uh, military and our active duty. Thanks to Guy Almquist. Thanks, Karen and Mitch, joining us. We are uh, got to be in Great Falls tomorrow. So keep it tuned. Social media will tell you when we're going to be back. Did you have a good day at school today? Yeah? It was pajama day Monday. She missed Monday. She was coming home from Texas, so she wore pajamas to school yesterday and today. Yesterday was bluey. Today it's uh, Minnie Mouse. Minnie, yeah. I almost said Mickey. It's mini. It's pink. It's pink. Yeah. It's say we'll say we'll do it again next time. Do it again next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. This is the Jason Walker Show. Have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.